I mean, you're gonna have money to spend, but just make sure you save your money first. YouTube, YouTube. So it's the flat gang back at y'all full effect. We finna pull up on a driver and see what he talking about early this morning. Oh, we get it done. Let's see what he talking about. Let's see what this driver is talking about. Open up your door, driver. Let's see what you're talking about. Y'all excuse the background noise too, man. My boy, he up early this morning, out here getting it. What's up, man? What's up? Flag game, flag experience. Like I said, y'all, nice excuse the noise, excuse the noise, man. But we gonna pull, we pulled up on my home by Jamal. He called it a stop, stop. Pulled up on my boy Jamal. Jamal, nice camera. how you doing, man? All right. Trying to make a living out here on these, <laughs> on these roads. On these roads. Yeah. So you up early. Then let's step over in the sun, Jamal, so I can get a. It's kind of dark right there. Yeah. So, um, Jamal, how long you been driving truck, man? About ten years. Ten years. You like it so far? I like the money. I don't like being away from home, but of course my family. Right. And he's been an entrepreneur doing this. Right. Easy to get right. So when you first started your business, what did you have the same mindset as when you first started driving trucks, or did that mindset change over time? It changed. It changed. Okay. And what changed about it? Uh, spending habits. Uh, I was a company driver. I wasn't too worried about. I started off young too. Right. So I had this thing my mom called New Money Syndrome. Right. I came from college in Walmart. I fell out of college and then we went to get my CDL. Right. And uh, I was at Walmart only making three hundred dollars a week. I want three hundred <laughs> to twelve hundred dollars a week, and I ain't know how to act. I'm That's buying right. clothes, Gucci belt. My brother he ran a studio, so I come home. I'm buying a case of alcohol for everybody. I ain't know right. how to act. So after injuring myself. Uh, after a couple accidents, it's dangerous out here, especially during this time of the year. Uh, I decided to uh, slow down. And, and, and I was getting older, so I started thinking that I need to start getting serious about this if it's going to be my career and I'm not going back to college. So, so if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? For the, 36. For the, 36. I got my CEO 10 years ago, so I was 26 when I got it. Right, right. So, um, after that accident, I saved my money up, got a truck, and started taking everything serious. Right. Yeah. So for the ones that's up and coming, because you know now they're letting teenagers get on the road, and they're starting to let them cross state lines. So for those that's up and coming, what kind of advice do you have for them? Be mature with your money. Take your time. And um, I mean, like, fresh out the gate. What's the first rule of advice, fresh out the gate? like? I'm new, I'm 18 years old. Get your experience. Start your business up early. You don't have to do nothing with it, but the longer you sit on it, the better it is. Stack your money up and learn from all the experience drivers out here because they know everything about this game. Right, right. Don't and when you say know everything. And when you say start your business, you mean like a LLC or a corporation yeah. of some type, it only right? Costs a couple hundred dollars, sometimes it's even free. Right. Depending on what station you're in. You don't even have to use it right away, just get it. So whenever you do stack your money up to get your truck, you already had that knowledge to go ahead and start making real money in this game. That's right, that's yeah. right. Either, if, even if you don't want to be an owner operator, get somewhere and stay there. Right. This Walmart job is making six figures because they've been at Walmart for 10 years. Right. That's about how much we make, but they don't got to deal with the truck. That's right. Being an owner operator is the, the easy way to do it, but if you get somewhere and stay still, you can make the same amount of money. Right. Okay. And me and you, we talk off the scene. Yeah. So you said the first truck that you got 
you blew the motor in it. But I, I was, but you was, I was in that new money center on that's right. I knew to save, so that's I right. had 30 bands stacked up. So, <laughs> so I jumped nothing. right back in it. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So the objective is save your money. Save your money. I mean, you gonna have money to spend, but just make sure you save your money first. I would right. say your biggest expense gonna be your engine. That could be fifteen thousand dollars. Right. I mean, you make it four thousand dollars after everything. Take a few months, save your money up, and the rest of the year do what you want to do. Make right. sure the truck is paid, of course. That's right. That's right. As long right. as you have that maintenance account, ain't no way you can fail. So, what's your favorite truck? What's the what's the best truck on the road right now? What's the best truck on the road? I like them KW KWT six uh, eighties. How you like the K? They say he like KWs, and look what he got, y'all. He got a freight liner, freight shaker. But he like KW. I mean, let's get the work done, but it's just, I don't know. I just like how they look. I never drove one. I just like how they look. I want to get one eventually. An all blacked out one. With a black grill, black rims. So let's ride down, the, ride down the street like Batman in the truck. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. So, I got another question for you. This is the question that I always get. Yeah. Every time I tell people, when they ask me what I do for a living, and I tell them that I drive trucks and I own a trucking company, right? The first question I get is, do you see any lot lizards out there? <laughs> do you get that question? Yeah. Okay, I, don't I mean, like do you that. get it a lot? I see them in certain states, but nah, I don't see them like I, like, like, like I thought I was gonna see them when I first started. Right. I see them in Memphis. Right. And Fulton Industrial in right. Atlanta, but nah, I haven't seen them like that. <laughs> Only got my door knocked on two times since I've been doing it. Right. And it was a crazy experience. I was at a truck stop and a van pulled up. The truck stop had security and everything, so I guess they paid the security and 10 of them hopped out. Yeah. Just going around knocking on doors. Dang, <laughs> that's crazy. Crazy. Right, yeah. So give me a story on what's one of your best experiences since you've been out here. My first year being on operator, uh, I ran my ass off. And I've never seen this much money before. I was making seven thousand dollars a week, uh, and that's what really made me think that, really let me know that this is what I want to do for a living. Right, right. I can retire early. It's easy to start. I mean, a truck is easy as getting a car if your credit score is everything right. And I can't think of not one business that's that easy to start. Right, right. And make that kind of money with that kind of turnover with a forty thousand with a forty thousand dollar investment. Right. So that's when I really be like, yeah, I, 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 I love being a truck driver, but I'm only looking for the money. Right. If I had a choice, you would be home I'll, with family. I'd be home with family making music. I love music. But this is giving you the opportunity, opportunity to invest in other things. Yep. So once it you do, is. once you do finally give it up, you got the money, you got the capital. I mean, even if I do give it up, I still don't have to give it up. I can put some money in this truck. Right. I mean, I know a guy at Landstar, got four trucks, he grows a million dollars. And he don't even keep drivers in the truck. Right. Drivers leave after six months, after three months, and he showed me his uh his gross, he grossed a million dollars. Free game, and people, all free he do game. Is sit at home. He's talking about he bored. He's talking about I'll be bored sitting at home. <laughs> free game, people, he'll free game. Truck, he'll get a truck, put somebody in it for 40, 45% take the rest and all you do is sitting at home. Right. Like I said, we making four thousand dollars plus a week. We get two thousand for just sitting at home. Right. And the driver had because he gets two thousand dollars, which is way above the national average. Hey, can't beat it. Yeah. Can't beat it. If I got like that then I would be cool even with two trucks. I'm cool with just sitting at home making sixty thousand not doing nothing and making music. Right. So right. That would so, be a good goal. So so with that being said now, what's one of your worst experiences since you've been out here on the road? Uh, when I got the money to start off being an owner operator, I had to go through an accident, which I fractured my knuckle. I fractured my knuckle. Uh, the steer tire blew. Me thinking I'm incredible hard. I'm trying to hold the truck on the road. The truck slid off the road. I slid into an irrigation ditch, and I hit my, my knuckle on something in the truck and fractured my knuckle. Um, and it was an experience where I was just scared to get back behind the wheel. And sometimes it still uh, scares me to this day. 
which everyone should be careful, but once you get enough experience, you start driving the truck like you in a Cadillac. So was it kind of a blessing in disguise? It was, made me be more careful and worry about, and, and, and be more careful on these roads instead of just getting too relaxed. Right. Because uh, all that could be prevented with a pre-trip. Right. So, but that scared me, but it also helped me start my business because I ended up getting funds to finance my first truck, plus with a little bit of savings. But if it wasn't for that accident, I'd probably still be out here taking curves at 70 miles per hour and all kind of crazy stuff. Right, right. But that was the most traumatic thing that made me almost want to quit. Okay. I had my mom scared and everything. Like, you sure you want to keep driving trucks? But. Right. So, Jamal, hey, man, I appreciate, right. you know, the, you see it, the flare experience. And I just want to show y'all we are out here with me and Jamal. Yo, he got a t-shirt. I got a sweater. This cold and hot at the same time. This weather don't know what it's gonna do. It's bipolar. Not where I came from. Negative six in my little Woo! Negative six! Woo! Buddy! I don't think a lot of y'all ain't ready for that yet. Go up there, it'll be negative six. Go down the floor, it'll be 70 degrees. That's right. All in one day. And we out here early in the morning. Up here getting it. What y'all doing? If you at home and you sitting on the couch, Get your ass up! Get out here, it's too much money to be made. Yeah. Anyway, Flare Trucking with Jamal for the Flare Experience. Runaway Child, and we are out!